Hi everyone, I'm Pete Rosethal and welcome to Real Estate TV, the show that discusses all things real estate, whether you're buying, you're selling, you're renovating, we look into all aspects and the advice we give is by professionals involved within the industry. I'm excited, I'm in the city today, I'm going through the groovy laneways and byways of Perth Central because I'm with my friend Daniel Paul Felipe from Indo-Pacific Properties, we're looking at a brand new development called Envy, can't wait. It's a take on the word Envy because it's an envious location, it's just the type of place you want to live in. But also the wonderful Alan, he's up at St Ives in Kareem. And I guess this is more of a community of like-minded people than anything else really. That's the purpose of these villages. We create security, a nice place where people can get together, share common amenity. The kitty and the wolf, I love it. Aaron is at our HIA charitable home thanks to our premium partners, HIA. The best part for me is when you actually see the people move in and start to enjoy it. That's when it becomes a true community. That's part of our purpose, creating a better place to live. Have you enjoyed the colourful opener? I have. Now it's time for me to see Daniel Paul Felipe from Indo-Pacific Properties to discuss the fantastic new apartments. Oh, welcome everyone to Real Estate TV. Natural move. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm with Daniel Paul Felipe. He's like my new co-host. He's done three out of the last four programs. Love him. How you going, Ray? Good to see you. Great, thanks, Pete. How are you? Oh, look at that again. You just nailed it. <laughs> you look just fantastic. Oh, you. Well, you like the Imelda Marcos of suits. It's unbelievable. We're in the city. We're in the CBD, beautiful part of the world. King Street we are. What do you got going now? We're about to launch a fantastic new development called Envy at 380 Murray Street, which is about 50 metres that way. That's one of those, mate. Just over there. Just over there. Stones right. throw, bro. Yeah, it's a beautiful development. Okay, now tell us a little bit more in terms of its, give us its size, how big is it? Yeah, it's a 31 storey building. It's uh, massive. Yeah, big building, 401 apartments, a mix of studios, one beds and two beds. Okay. Uh, and some amazing facilities, restaurants on the ground floor, beautiful design, adjoining hotel, designed for inner city living. Yeah, well it just seems to have that feel once you've got studios involved in ones and twos, it feels like it's for, for people who just want to live in the hub. That's right, yeah, it's really been designed for those that uh, work in the city, want to live in the city, enjoy the, uh, the nightlife and the cultural part of town and not spend an hour going on a train to get home at night. You've got that great connectivity, haven't you, to, to Northbridge, to, to the key, to everything. Yeah, absolutely. King Square is just down below at the end of King Street. Of course, you've got Elizabeth Quay going down the other way, Brookfield Plaza, Retail Centre, uh, and Murray Street and Hay Street. Everything's right on your doorstep. And of course, Shafto Lane. I love Shafto Lane. What's Shafto Lane? All, all the bars, restaurants. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> I trust you know that, man. I've got four Stables. kids. I never go out anymore. <laughs> hey, I feel like a coffee. You want to have a coffee? Great. Love Stay one. with me all day. Love you too. Now, here's Alan at Midland Brick. When we're thinking of building here in WA, there's really only one name that pops into our mind. Midland Brick. And that's for a very good reason. Midland Brick is a great WA company. And more and more leading builders, like WA trusted favourite Artique Homes, are using and recommending Midland Brick. Hi Malcolm, tell us a little bit about Artique Homes. Alan RT Combs commenced in 1988 with an emphasis on custom building, where we design, we build, and we fully specify everything in the home from day one to make sure there are no hidden extras later. It's a full service. And tell us about this beautiful feature behind us here. How did that come about? In every home we build, we try and design it so that they're timeless. It doesn't matter what the character or style of the home, we try and incorporate natural materials such as timber and stone. What we have here is culture stone from Midland Brick. Just looking at it, it's fantastic, isn't it? Oh, look, fantastic. We also use craftsmen, not tradesmen, including Rick James that did this particular job, and the, the proof is in the pudding. And it's paid dividends, hasn't it? I mean, you picked up some rather nice awards along the way. It's always good to receive an award from our peers, being master builders for construction and excellence and it's a good recommendation to our clients. Now, it's quite a boost, I guess, for you to use and recommend Midland Brick products and like their cultured stone. We've used Midland Brick since our inauguration. It's a product that's been around a long time. It's a proven product and it's a great range of products and something I'd highly recommend. Midland Brick and Artique Homes. It costs no more for inspirational design. Have a look at artiquehomes.com.au and of course, midlandbrick.com.au. 
Welcome to the 2016 HIA Charity Home Auction, which once sold, will help address mental health issues within the residential building industry. John, big day today, you must be very excited. Yes, it's an exciting day. We're really proud to have finally got here. This is the first HIA Charity Home anywhere in Australia, so it's, it's an inaugural event. Uh, we can't do it without the support of our sponsors and partners. Uh, Dale Orcock Homes have built this wonderful home, and Stockland have donated the land in this, this beautiful estate uh, in Amberton, in the northern beachside suburbs of Perth. A lot of suppliers and manufacturers that have provided products and services into this home, so we thank them sincerely for all their hard work and support. Working with mental health advocate group Beyond Blue it's been a great relationship and hopefully we'll be able to raise funds to really make a difference within the residential building industry for mental health. John, Aaron will be catching up later in the show with Cole Dutton to discuss Stockland and their involvement in this great home. They've been a great contributor. Very excited, Holly. If you would like to know any more about the HIA, head to hia.com.au and remember, with the HIA, you're in good hands. Now don't forget about the Rich Grow competition to celebrate 100 years and the new plant. Rich Grow are giving away some of their products. All you've got to do is go to our website, Real Estate TV, click on the comp link and you're in, my friends. We'll see you after the break. For information on all your property needs, whether it be buying, selling or renting, be sure to visit westrealestate.com.au Welcome back to Real Estate TV. I'm having a great day. Why, I hear you ask, because I'm with this man, Daniel Paul Filippi from Indo-Pacific Properties. We're talking about NV, which is, I thought it was the whole word, but it's not, it's just an N and a V. I like the concept, describe it to me. Fantastic name, it's a take on the word envy because it's an envious location. You're going to be the envy of all your friends if you live here oh. and uh, it's just the type of place you want to live in. Now it's becoming clear. Yeah. It's quite simple really isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and we discussed before, it's in such a great location. We've got all the fantastic bars and restaurants on our doorstep. We've got Northbridge, connectivity at Elizabeth Key. It's just all going down, it's beautiful. So who are you trying to attract? Look, it's being targeted uh, particularly for inner city workers, young people, young professionals, those that work, live and enjoy their lifestyle in the city. So it's affordable for first home buyers. It will also be popular for investors because obviously it will be a popular place for tenants. You're buying the vibe, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. I'd buy the vibe. I love a good vibe. Interiors I want to discuss in a little while, next time we hook up again, because I love my interiors. Sounds and cool. I know you always have a, a quality product. Always. You never sold me anything dodgy, ever, ever. And I believe Envy is once again top of the list. It is. Coming back in a minute. Here's the wonderful Aaron, is at the HIA Charitable Home. They've had the auction, how'd it go? Welcome to the 2016 HIA Charitable Foundation Charity Home Auction Day. I've got to tell you, Cole, without people like Dale Lawcock and yourself, we wouldn't be where we are today. So big congratulations. Thanks and very much. Thank you. Now, Cole, when it comes to the difference between a house and a home, I believe it's the feeling of community that house is in. You really do a lot of planning to actually make that happen. But once it gets rolling, particularly with the houses and the amenity and the open space, it really is an exciting part. But the best part for me is when you actually see the people move in and start to enjoy it. That's when it becomes a true community. That's part of our purpose, I suppose, creating a better place to live. Creating these places is where we get our kick in regard to seeing it all come together. Is that what made Stockland jump on board the Charitable Foundation? We saw the opportunity to get involved. It's obviously a great cause and we saw alignment to the cause given that we create communities. And mental health, obviously, both within the community and within the industry, are an issue that needs to be acknowledged and we, we want to contribute to a solution. What Stockland are doing, which is investing back into the industry, is a fantastic way to kick this off and to address the issue. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much on behalf of the HIA Charitable Foundation as well. Now, if you would like to know more about Stockland or any of their estates that they're working on now or in the future, make sure you jump on to stockland.com.au. Present your house like a home with the team at Furniture Hire and Styling Australia. To make sure your home looks its absolute best for sale, you need the right advice, the right experience and the best quality furniture and accessories. Furniture Hire and Styling Australia can bring out the best in your home with their huge range of coffee tables, dining suites, sofas, lamps and plenty more. Don't put an empty house on the market, make it a home with Furniture Hire and Styling Australia. For more information, get onto fhsa.com.au or follow the links from our website. Now today's 2016 HIA Charitable Foundation Charitable Home goes to help a very important cause. Mr Jeff Kennett, how are you sir? 
exceedingly well. Now, I didn't know until today that you actually started Beyond Blue. Yes, I did in 2000. In 1997, my daughter came to me after two of her male friends died in totally unrelated car accidents in a week. But because I was in a position of some influence then, I got the information on these deaths too very quickly. And I found out that both of these young men had used their cars to take their lives. So then I tried to understand more about depressive illnesses. I knew nothing at the time. I then established in 2000, Beyond Blue as we know it today. So I suppose having leaders like yourself admit that it's okay to fail without intending to is where I see Beyond Blue is doing great work because it's all about starting a conversation and getting it out. Yeah, I think that's absolutely right. But you're seeing more and more now people coming out talking about their experience. And the fact that people can now talk about it, and particularly men, be encouraged to seek help, is a wonderful change from where we were 15, 16 years ago. Thank you for doing what you've done. Well, it's, again, no one on their own achieves the thing. You can't win a premiership with one player, you need a team of players. And I've been very fortunate, I've had good teams working with us at Beyond Blue now for 16 years. And I'll tell you what, you will never win a, a grand final or anything if you have a good team without a great leader. Take it on board, take it on board. Now if you or anyone that you know could do with the conversation, make sure you jump on to beyondblue.com.au. Right, well done. Thank you. Thank have you. a great day. Thanks, Aaron. Now, if you or anyone you know needs support or a chat, please head to beyondblue.org.au. After the break, I'm catching up with Daniel Portfilippe again. We'll see you then. For information on all your property needs, whether it be buying, selling or renting, be sure to visit West Real Estate com.au One of my favorite things to do on the weekend is to come into the city. I love shopping. I love discovering all the laneways filled with trendy bars and cafes. But the one thing I don't love is having to find parking, pay a fortune for it, and then drive all the way home. I'm so envious of people that don't have to worry about that. And I'm gonna find out how I can have that lifestyle too. Daniel, tell me about these amazing apartments. I've heard already so much, I'm already in love. Yeah, look, they're fantastic. Obviously, we've already talked about the location with Pete on Murray Street, right near King Street, and all the action of the city. But the apartments themselves are stunning. There's a great range of one bedrooms, studios, and two bedrooms, mm -hmm. starting from 295,000. So pretty much for a first home buyer, I could be potentially in one of these beautiful apartments. Absolutely, look, that's the whole idea. We have studios starting from 295, uh, right through the 300s. We have large one beds ranging from about 375,000, two bedrooms from 475,000. Now, one thing I did see was about level 30. Yeah, level 30 is where all the fun's gonna be had. There's a 25 metre infinity pool, mm -hmm. so you've got the city views, cabanas, sun lounges, private dining and entertaining rooms, so you can have functions, outdoor cinema, so you can watch special sporting events and things like that. So it's pretty much not just living, it's actually celebrating life and having your friends over and having a great pool party. Exactly, look, you live in your apartment, but you entertain outside of it and on the fifth floor we've got an exercise area another swimming pool a gym a spa a sauna so that's where you go to work out level 30 is where you go to have fun I like the fact that it starts at 295 especially when I can go and spend more down at uh, King Street Absolutely. I love my shopping <laughs> Shop your heart out. and that's what I'm about to go and do all right enjoy <laughs> I just got my fashion fix. Now, if you wanna find out more about this envious lifestyle, head to envyperth.com for more information. I'm gonna go and do some more shopping. I have a question. Why, do, why, why are we not wearing pants? Because we are trying to make a visual point. And the point is that if your house has the wrong garage door fitted, it's gonna look half-dressed. That makes sense. But if you get the door done right, then the whole house looks complete. It does. More attractive. It can do. Protects your valuables. It, well, it could. Mm. And Centurion garage doors get the look right each and every time. Mm. And they do it with their new flush fit helmet system. It's amazing. And the entire operation is 100% Australian owned and made. Good job. Yeah. It's kind of like you and me. Yeah, kind of, kind of weird. So 
since walking around this city, I've noticed such an electric vibe, so I thought I'd come straight to the source. Lisa, there has been so many positive things happening in the city, especially with all of the apartment buildings, gonna bring so many more people into the city and get that great lifestyle and it's just, Fantastic. I agree. I feel it every day. I live and work in the city and I describe it that Perth's time has really arrived. We now are truly recognised as a capital city in the state of Western Australia. Absolutely. We're the Western Gateway of the Australian continent, we're the Eastern Gateway to the Indian Ocean Rim and we're in the same time zone longitudinally of 61% of the world's population. You've been such a champion to get all of these changes happening and the growth. You must be so positive. Look, I am a very positive person and you need to be in a role where you're encouraging others to grasp your vision and allow you to move forward with it. We came out of a period around 2007 where Perth was sadly and very wrongly described as Dullesville and we needed to create a change or flip our script somehow and encourage people to stay, linger, but they needed to be excited to do so and that only came about with changes in the small bar licensing, new infrastructure infrastructure, aesthetic improvements, the uplighting of Council House, which everyone loves, and of course commitments to big projects that we had been championing for decades, such as sinking the railway line to create the link, the Elizabeth Quay, which was known as the waterfront previously. I think it's probably fair to say Perth used to be described as a gawky teenage girl, and now she's maturing into a very sexy West Coast woman, and she's exuding her allure on the international scene. Well, I absolutely you love that. I'm glad that I chose to live here. <laughs> That's so good. There really is so much to discover in this great city at the moment. If you would like to discover more about what's happening in Perth, check out Metropolitan Redevelopment Authority at mra.wa.gov.au and the City of Perth at perth.wa.gov.au. Now don't forget about the Rich Grow competition to celebrate 100 years and the new plant. Rich Grow are giving away some of their products. All you've got to do is go to our website, Real Estate TV, click on the comp link and you're in, my friends. We'll see you after the break. For information on all your property needs, whether it be buying, selling or renting, be sure to visit West Real Estate .com.au Welcome back to Real Estate TV. Daniel, Paul, Philippe and I have moved locations. We're at Door 49, which is typical of one of the beautiful little bars, groovy little spots you can find around the wonderful NV building. Such a great place. All the rooftop bars, little cafe strips, laneway bars, it's all here. Yeah, Louise had a look in great detail. It's kind of my turn now. So just give us a basic terms, the fit out. Yeah, look, they're a well-spec apartment. So all of the apartments have got three different colour schemes you can choose from. Washer dryers are already included, European appliances, dishwashers, ovens, etc. all there. High ceilings, 2.7 metres high, floor to ceiling glass, nice spacious balconies, and the studios include a queen size bed that's built in. Okay, I'm coming in. Give me some pricing on studios up. Yeah, look, squarely aimed for investors and first home buyers. We have apartments starting from 295,000. Yeah, two yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, hasn't been seen in Perth for a while. No. One bedrooms from 375, staying below 400. Yep. And two bedrooms starting from 475,000. That's so, amazing. That's yeah. nothing over five so far. Great value. To get in contact, what do we do? Where do we go? Okay, jump on the website nvperth.com or call us on 6382-1616, all hours, and talk to one of our reps. The display centre is actually on Milligan Street, right? and you can drop into the display centre. It's open every afternoon, seven days a week. Stay with me, we're going to do the closer together, because we co-host this baby. It's right. official, you're co-hosting permanently. Now here's the wonderful Alan, his and St Ives, Kareem. It was way back in July last year when we were last at the site of what is very quickly becoming the pinnacle of retirement living in WA. We're at St Ives Kareen, and so much has happened here. And let me tell you, there's so much more just about to happen. As we discovered during our last visit, if you're looking to retire in style and elegance, St Ives is designed to pamper and indulge you. This is where we all aspire to live. Yes, St Ives Kareen Retirement Village features magnificent apartments with luxurious, exclusive clubhouse facilities designed to be enjoyed as an extension of your living spaces. It's unique. 
So let's get our bearings. Exactly where are we? Well, we're very centrally located right in the middle of beautiful leafy Kareem. And everything we need is very close by. There's the Lake Karanup Country Club, the Karanup Shopping Centre, the Medical Centre, North Beach Bowling and Tennis Clubs, fantastic beaches, there's Trigg and Scarborough very nearby, and of course a magnificent entertainment and dining precinct. So pretty well everything you need is very close by and very accessible. The entry will feature a double height reception lobby, an intimate club lounge bar and a cafe. More of a hotel than a retirement village, this will be a place to enjoy a coffee or a glass of fine wine with neighbours or family. Adjacent to the lobby lounge will be the magnificent dining room with outdoor terrace overlooking the central village gardens. There'll be an intimate mezzanine library and even an outdoor cinema. And the blue diamond with gymnasium and resort style pool caps the development off rather nicely. Well Paul, we know where it is, we know what it is, how do we get involved? Alan, I suggest buyers get in quick. These apartments are well and truly under construction. Our two and three bedroom apartments have been uniquely designed with meticulous finishes provided and some apartments even have ocean glimpses. Well, it really is a prestigious development, whichever way you look at it, isn't it? Very much so. Stage one only contains 63 apartments and they're selling fast, as you know, so they better be quick. And I guess this is more of a community of like-minded people than anything else, really. Yeah, that's very true, Alan. That's the purpose of these villages. We create security, a nice place where people can get together, share common amenity. It's all there for them. It's a beautiful little package all tied up in one bow. So when can we move in? We are welcoming residents in mid-2017. Well, you've got some work to do. You better get off to it. Nice to talk to you. This is the most eagerly anticipated retirement village development in WA. For all the details, head to stivescarine.com.au. Thank you, Alan. Okay, Daniel Paul Philippa, let's wrap this baby up. Uh, where do good. I go to get involved in the wonderful NV apartments? Okay, register on the website, nvperth.com, or call us anytime, 6382 1616. Do you have a display suite, surely? We do. We've got a magnificent display suite on Milligan Street, just between Murray and Hay. It's open seven days a week, every afternoon. Will you come back and help me again? Look forward to it. Oh, I got a new suit. Good to see you, bro. See you. Now, if you want to find out about anything in today's program or old programs, go to the website, realestatetv.com.au. Follow the prompts. It's all there. We'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us. And that's a wrap.